Hello everybody, Lurks here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to build Jerry style chairs. Now I've got eight of these to build today and these are a really nice modern looking chair and super comfortable as well. And I'll take you through all the steps you need to build one of these classic looking chairs. And then at the end we'll have a lovely cup of tea. Right, we best get cracking. For each chair that you get, you will get a cushion the actual chair and the backing, the legs, and then a small pack of nuts and washers and the cross-shaped support. And you should get that for each chair that you get. So make sure you've got all those and I'll take you through those bolts in a second. Let's just start unwrapping. Be careful with your scissors when you're cutting open the bubble wrap. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about how to clean your UPVC guttering so it stays clean. That is the chair. And the cushion part, the round circle bit goes at the back of the chair. And let's just unwrap the legs. Good thing about these chairs are the legs are really sturdy. You do get some felt underneath the legs, but we found with this felt that it does actually wear off over time, especially if you've got a tiled floor. So that is the legs there, and they just slot into each other, ready to be bolted on later on in the video. Now let's just unpack the parts that you need, which is the cross shape, and then the bolts, the washers, and the Allen key. So you've got two small bolts, one medium size and four long bolts and obviously the, all the washers. Take the two small bolts first and you're placing the cushion onto the back of the chair with the circle part at the back so it lines up. Now with these two smaller bolts you don't use washers on these ones. And what you need to do is you need to line up where that cushion goes with this hole here you can just see it through there so get one of the bolts in first always just try and do it with your hand first just so that you don't cross thread it once it feels like it's biting then you can take your allen key and tighten it up now you might find that it doesn't actually stretch and it doesn't seem long enough so a top tip here is your hand on the other side if you push the cushion in that just brings it a little bit closer to the bolt and that allows you to bolt it on. Now don't go crazy and tighten up that one bolt super tight. Just do it half tight and then get the other one in. Once the other one's in and it's biting the thread, you can then tighten both of those up fully tight. Use the small end of the Allen key first. That makes it quicker to tighten it up. Just going to rest it on my knee here so I can push it forward just makes it easier then use the longer part of the allen key to get more leverage whilst i'm doing that there's a link above now about what to do if your curtains are sticking on the curtain rails that's a really top tip Fabulous, right, that's those two medium bolts all nicely tightened up. So the cushion's all in place, nice and sturdy. And the next part is the legs. These literally just slot together like this. Then you're turning it upside down you're taking your medium sized bolt, put the washer onto the bolt, push it through. So this is underneath the chair. Again, just do it with your fingers first, make sure it catches the thread because you don't want to cross thread it. Once it feels like it's going in, then take your Allen key and tighten it up. To get it super tight, again, Use the long part of the Allen key just for that extra leverage. Fantastic, nice and sturdy.
Now what we need to do is put the cross support in, which is a metal cross support. Take your four long bolts, make sure that the washers are on each of these. Now we're ready to install the cross support. I'm just going to put the chair on my knee just so again I can push it and these are the four bolts which are going to be going into these positions here. What you're doing is you're lining up those holes on the legs with those holes on the underside of the chair. Get one bolt in first again just using your fingers. Now again, as with the earlier bolts, it might not seem that this bolt is actually long enough. So another top tip is push the chair underneath with your knee. That just brings the chair slightly closer to that bolt. And then it should actually reach that thread and you can start tightening up. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about how to check your car or van battery using a multimeter. Now if you still can't reach it, you can turn it the right way up so it's actually sitting on the floor. And then put a bit of weight on it. I wouldn't recommend sitting on it because you haven't got all the bolts in yet. But push it down with your hand. That just brings it slightly closer to that bolt. Don't go mad with this once it's taken a bite on the thread. Just tighten it up a little bit and make sure you get those other three bolts in first before we start going around and tightening them all up for the end. So look down that hole and then line it up with the bolt, push the bolt through. If you can see if it's all lined up correctly, this one is. Take your Allen key, start tightening it up. Great stuff. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about how to defrost your freezer easily. Let's get the final two bolts in. As I mentioned earlier, don't go crazy with these. Just make sure that they start tightening up. And then once all four bolts are in, we can go around and make sure they're all super tight. But we don't go around and tighten them up in the circle. We tighten them up as opposites. So we're tightening them up now as opposites. So tighten one and then make sure you go and do the opposite one on the other side. And just keep going round using the long part of the Allen key making sure it's nice and tight. Just get it as tight as you can. Fantastic. That is nice and sturdy. Look at that, a classic looking modern chair, all built and ready to use. That looks absolutely brilliant. Only another seven to go, Lurgs. Oh, we've actually bought eight of these. But once you've done one, obviously they all get easier the more you do it. That definitely deserves a lovely cup of tea. I hope you found that useful. Up here is a link on how to fix your sticking curtains on the curtain rails. Really good tip. And over on this side, a video on how to defrost your freezer in under 15 minutes. Thanks for visiting my channel everyone. I really, really appreciate it.